Hi everyone, how are you? On today to do some altered puzzle pieces and you can see here that I've just got a nail file and I'm just rubbing it over the top of the puzzle pieces just so the gesso will just stick to it a little bit better and now using the gesso to give them the first coat I actually put two coats of gesso on because my gesso is very very thin <laughs> Um, this is a process video, but it also is to let everybody know that Shemi Dixon is having a birthday challenge giveaway. And all you have to do to enter it is to send Shemi a photo of something that she has inspired you to make. Um, from her videos and believe me Shemi just inspires me in so many ways I love watching her videos and this is what I'm doing now I watched a video that Shemi had done a few weeks ago on her altered puzzle pieces and I just couldn't believe how easy she made it look like I remember doing my first puzzle, puzzle altered puzzle pieces sorry <laughs> altered puzzle pieces um, about 12 months ago and I just gave myself such a hard time at doing it because I just really didn't know what to do um, and then after watching Shemi the other day and she just made it look so easy so that's what I'm doing here now I'm giving the puzzle pieces just a coat of acrylic paint and I've decided to do five in five different colours. I've done a black, a red, a turquoise, a brown and a pink. And I'm just going around. I'm also painting around the edges. And when I finish them, I give them a coat of black paint on the back just to, um, just to make them look a little bit more professional I suppose oh there's my arm sorry about that <laughs> so I wasn't really happy with just one coat with the colored paint on them and I actually did give go oh here I am now did give go oh, I've still got the flu and I just can't get my my words out I did give them a second coat of the respective colors just so that it wasn't so transparent. So I'll leave the all the details or the links in the description box and you can all go and check out Shemi's birthday challenge giveaway. She actually has the same birth date as my eldest son which is the 5th of, uh, 6th of September. 5th or 6th? Oh gosh, I can't even remember now. <laughs> it's my son as well. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Okay, and um, what you see me doing here, I'm just going to put some little embellishments that I've collected and some I've had for quite a while. And I'm just using the tacky glue to glue them all onto the top of the puzzle pieces. The red one I've put a little strand of red roses and some leaves and the blue one I had this little gem that was it was actually on a material backing the gems were and I've glued that down onto the the blue one and on this pink one I've got a paler pink heart with a bow and I'm just gluing down the word love in some dimensional wooden letters that the lovely Sonia Steptoe had given to me and the black one I've decided to put a panda on it 
and the brown one I have a leaf oh, not a leaf a feather a brown feather and I did have it upside down but I just I wiped that bit of glue off <laughs> and I'm putting the word hope on the brown one just gluing it down with the tacky glue and now I'm just going back and I'm adding a few more little gems and embellishments to the puzzle pieces and I actually after watching Shemi's video on the alter on how she altered her puzzle pieces I just I don't know you know when something just clicks with you and you just think oh that is so easy why didn't I think of that <laughs> oh. Somebody else just makes it look so easy sometimes. And Shemi just, she just truly inspires me with anything that she does. She's a marvellous crafter and artist. So on the black one, I've also put some little... Um, little diamond jewels and on the blue one I've put some some transparent blue jewels and I'm sorry about this the red one I'm just placing some flat back pearls in the center of each rose and I have gone off screen a little bit I apologize for that and just to add a little bit more jazziness, I'm adding some, uh, what's it called? Glitter glue. Glitter glue? Yeah, glitter glue. I really should have waited until I was feeling better, but I, I wanted to get this up, so please excuse my rather awkward talking <laughs> well I'm sick and I can still laugh at myself that's good <laughs> so there's my five altered puzzle pieces the black one with the panda and the brown one with the feather and the word hope and some little blingy jewels and the pink one with the word love and the heart and the red one with the roses and the flat back pearls in the center and some glitter glue and I think this one here's my favorite the blue one with that little jewel embellishment I think I actually had that sent to me in some happy mail as well and it's got some little blue jewels on it and some blue glitter glue. So I thought I was going to stop there and I was going to wait until they all dried from the glitter glue. But I thought, no, I'm going to put some tassels on a couple of them. So the red one, I've got this little beaded tassel and the cord was actually a bit too long. So I just cut it in half and decided to... Um, decided to just tie a knot in it so it wasn't so long and on the black one I put a white fabric tassel so there you go my finished altered puzzle pieces inspired by the lovely Shemi Dixon you all have a good day bye bye